Hey there folks, how's it going? Welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. In the last episode, I kind of wandered around a little bit, and I got the Monster Hunt gig from Regina Jones. I took out Jotaro, he is dead, he's lying on his top floor, and I kind of stealth and sleuth my way through the rest, oh, through the rest of this uh, spot. So I took out all the enemies and everything, and, uh, yeah, I haven't leveled up, kind of just wanted to save that for now. Go ahead and take that brain dance, or that shard about brain dances. Alright, so, <clears throat> I want to increase my technical ability to 7 and my body to 10. Body to 10 so I can make better use of this weapon, and then technical ability to 7 so I can do better hacks and whatnot. Or maybe it's this. I don't really remember too much which it was. In any case, let's go to Annihilation. Oh, I'm having some issues with this controller. Come on, controller. Don't hate me. Yep, let's uh, let's go ahead and grab this. Still 3% more damage. I mean, it's not the greatest, but... Oh, well. And I'd, I'd assume with this little, like kind of, you know, print pattern here, that means I need to have some form of this to be able to get this, but who knows, not I, alright, so our goal is to leave the club, we got a door right over here, that is the bathroom, I said we have a door right over here, alright, and I'm pretty sure there was an enemy out here, but he probably... Yeah, he probably went inside afterwards. Alright. <clears throat> Sweet. We completed the job. Oh, got a call. One less shithead in this city. Cream. Thanks, V. Closing the gig. Okay. How much you paying me? 1810? I mean, I was hoping for more, but whatever. What can you do? Alright, so, before I actually take care of the Dexter Deshaun thing, I am going to... Go to... Oh, gig type missing persons. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not doing that one right now. Let's see, let's go to the map. I'm trying to head to... Paid in full. So let's go to the journal. And, um... Let's go ahead and pay off Victor. So, now that we've loaded in, we can go that way, but I want to say hi to Misty. Oh, again? Is there going to be more stuff with him now? <laughs> you can recognize them by their cold blue eyes. Creatures born centuries ago on the Antarctic ice sheet. Mm hmm. Tell me they more, Co Carnage. Their true faces under masks of human skin. Two faced snakes, oppressors of humanity. So, won't they just use contact lenses? If it's such a big giveaway, won't they just install optics or use contact lenses at least? If it were only so simple, they are reptiles. Their nervous system isn't compatible with human cybernetics. Then, why not have their own rippers invent some? Are you sure they haven't already? And where did this filth slither out from, you ask? Antarctica, you said that already. Today they hide amidst <laughs> the snow and ice of the South Pole. Step by step, usurping our crown as creation's chosen. Millions of years ago, they evolved from dinosaurs to become the world's first advanced, intelligent race. And who is their progenitor? Their masters? The scientists of Alpha Centauri! No one's stopping by this time. Radio waves bear the truth. Let those with ears listen and those with eyes. Alrighty. Ready yourself. I mean, all right. No, no, I just. All right, Misty, how are you going? How's, How's business, going? Misty? Booming. <sighs> okay. People in this town. They've lost their spiritual connection. But well, you know, I'm here to serve them, not the other way around. Oh, cat's here still. Cat. 
There you go. Siamese. Feel like kids not here anymore. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and pay off my debt. I want to pay off my debt. There you go. Finally scrounged up enough eddies to pay you back in full. Hold on to them just in case. You need them more than me. I'm not taking them all the way to my grave, Vic. Here. And thanks again for doing so much work on me without ever seeing an any. That's what friends are for. All right, job complete. Watch me get paid all the eddies back. Yeah, no. Uh, I think uh, I want to replace my implants. I was thinking about swapping some chrome. You got any new toys? Have a look. All right, let's see. So I have this available. So that's the Sende Vistan. I need 28,000 for that one. I need 11 street cred and 15 reflexes. Okay. Hmm. Okay, Tetratonic, Stevenson, Miltech Paraline. Okay. And this is the eye. Proshi Optics, more. Skeleton. Titanium Bones. Dense Marrow. Arms. Projectile Launch System. Smart Links everywhere required to enable smart targeting. 20 Street Qued. Qued. Cred. Gorilla Arms. Mantis Blades. Monowire. Okay. Circulatory System. Hmm. <clears throat> so I already have some, I think. I think I have... Oh, no. I have, like, little mods and stuff. Yeah, so I have the Karez... Karenzikov. Yeah. Synaptic Accelerator. Detected by enemies. Cooldown 60 seconds. Nano Relays. That's 4,000. I could get it. Aim and shoot while sliding or dodging. Slows down time by 50% for 1.5 seconds. I think I'll get this stuff whenever I actually get the um, Sand of Easton. Increases armor by 50. That's not too bad. Yeah. I'll do that. Why not? I mean, it's at least something, right? Ram upgrade... Skeleton arm legs. Fortified ankles and reinforced tendons. Okay. So mostly I come to him for the um Cinevis and some other stuff. How's biz going? Uh, I right. can't complain. Corporals learn to keep their distance and Sarka's back hiring alone mercs. Alright. Okay. Bye. Yeah, it was a little rude of me to walk away like that, but you know what? Alright, let's go. Are we sleeping now? Gerald Winkler is his name. He's level three. Gary the Prophet. What happens if I do this while he's sleeping? Nothing? Does it just spit out trash? Man, I was kind of hoping to take the head. Alright. I'm gonna go... Oh, no, actually, it's this way. I'll walk to it. Why not? Don't have too much else going on right now. Let's hop on the ride. Hi there. Yo, Mr. V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Who shoot it? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? Is some sort of test? Is some sort of test? Huh. Eh. Just a pet topic of mine. You mean... riddles? 
No, Mr. V. Ontology. The hell? All right. Listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Why meet me? Why the show? Hang on. I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Buck sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. I still don't trust you. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past. And sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. Good job. Tell me more. That's actually a pretty nice looking watch, by the way. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. That's a death sentence. No, no problem. Just a death sentence. NC's Arasaka's turf. Nobody fucks with them here. What can I say, Mr. V? High risk, high reward. First rule of the afterlife. Besides that, I'm no leadhead. Ain't gonna leave no trace for them to follow because we're gonna do this clean and on the hush-hush. We understand each other. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolve in that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Tell me about the client. Client? What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. Maelstrom, what's the issue? What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. I really think people are gonna give me a virus of this. I mean, we already got one. So... Waited so long he put his arm down. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. Cause if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. The problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Royce guy. Who is he? Royce guy. What's he like? A straight psychopath. Chrome-loving kind. Big club in this town. I'll give you that. Except few of its other members. No matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave dryer. Apparently, first thing to burst are the eyeballs. Get a nice clear pop. Then the rest goes goulash. Corpo, the woman's a corp agent? Corpo agent? What's she playing at? Hell if I know. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Sounds like she was waiting on the transport. Got stood up. 
Monochrome in the back is probably her chief suspect. Got nothing from him or on him, so she's keeping him just in case. But she needs to find the stolen gear before her boss has learned she fucked up. Well, Mr. V, that is some impressive deduction. Naturally, use that intel as you please. Preferably well. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. I uh, know all in, I think. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life or a blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. She stays in the car for the rest of the game. All right, Jackie Wells is giving us a call. Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah? He was at the work me over. Claimed to want to check our pro cred. But to me, it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clepped it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Something's huh. up. Moving to investigate. Royce, you know anything about him? Nick, you don't sound thrilled. Royce, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack something special. Junkie snort junk. Royce snorts chrome. And then there's the other thing. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? Oh, well, that's Maelstrom right there. Huh. Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? I'll start with the client. Parker. I think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. Orale. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Go to Lizzie's bar between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. Alrighty. Where? Oh, where is the closest fast travel spot? Nope. Oh. There we go. <clears throat> Victor Vector, hey, V, thought just occurred to me. Uh, can't start your career in the major leagues, right, by sporting some rag of a t-shirt. The wind blows a lot stronger up there on top of the world. Old-timers like me hate to watch you kids catch cold. Left you a couple things in your stash at your apartment. Give them an honest try, and I bet they'll fit you just right. Wow, thanks, Vic. Won't hear me say no to free threads. Free? You kidding me? Glad to hear it. They're just collecting dust in my closet floor anyway. Much rather give them a good new home and sell them for a couple of or trash them. Okay, so that's probably gonna end up being the stuff I got already. Style Supreme, or maybe they don't anymore. Hope they serve you well. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Thanks to Sean, another message. I'll check that out in a second. I just want to get the Lizzie's first. Oh, you know what? I already passed that, didn't I? Yeah, it's over this way. I'm not the best driver. Alright. Where are we going? This way. <clears throat> Sounds good to me. Oh, messages. Dexter Deshaun. 
Biochip info. How about a little something to get those taste buds tingling? Biochip questions, fact so called relic. Nova tier piece of tech catering to the top 1%. Supposed, supposedly the best life insurance money can buy. We now are going to be ne neck deep in euro dollars. Alright, flathead price. Just want to remind you again that eddies have already changed hands between me and my esteemed males from partners in biz. Round sum of 10,000 euro dollars to be precise. When you're there, take it off their hands. Don't let them try to shake you down as they're liable to do. Maelstrom being Maelstrom. Okay, so at least 10k is what I need to get from them. Alright. <clears throat> You'll need it best of luck. What time is it? 4.35 a.m. Going in or staying out? Uh, going in. My, what a sweet little face of Alright, let's go ahead and turn off that marker. There we go. Okay. Hey. Hey. We'll get you something. Looking for Evelyn. I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here. Who's asking? Ooh, uh, let's do this one. A big tipper. Big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture. Truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Howdy. Evelyn Parker. Yeah, I noticed. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Let's drink. It's key to choice. Sense on? Only tequila I drink. <laughs> How do you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Why meet here? Why we meet here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. <clears throat> All right, let's follow her to the VIP room. Hmm. I could have sworn. Yeah, okay. Hey, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No. Hold on. Fine. I can't grab it. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. I think the only person who isn't trustworthy is Dex. Uh, you don't care what Dex thinks. V? You don't give a rat's dick what Dex thinks. We both know that. You have trouble accepting compliments? No, just think flattery's beneath you. Am I wrong? Maybe Dex is beneath you. Have you known each other long? <laughs> what, you write in Dex's bio? You write in Dex's bio? Hate to disappoint, but I just don't know much. In other words, you hardly know each other. Yet he fingered you for this job. Hmm. Curious. He thinks it's gonna go south, and he wants someone that will jump at the bait of working with a high up fixer like Dex to fall, to take the fall. Uh, got any doubts? Ring Dex. Whatever. Shit, buzz Dex right now if you're getting cold feet. I can wait. That's a throwaway I doubt line. I doubt he'd add anything I haven't already heard. Anything I'd really like to hear for that matter. There's only one other bunch that's worse than fixers in that respect. Used car salesmen. <laughs> I'll go with my gut for now. Let's talk business. 
Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka, making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Corpo, I'm familiar with the franchise. Arasaka seems to have quite the touch with that hotel chain. But I gotta say, Compeki in Tokyo still leagues above the rest. The two are identical to each other. Japan staff, huh? The service can't be beat. Singapore, Paris, Washington. All the rest act like charity case cousins by comparison. Well, it's hard to argue with that. True. So where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? In Night City? <laughs> Guess the scream sheets weren't lying this time. It's on the lips of everyone in the city. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son, heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire, in town. <laughs> Please. Could it be? Emperor's prepared to cede his throne after 150 years? <laughs> Doubt it. Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? <laughs> oh, okay. Yorinobu's got an army around him, I bet. Top dog like Yorinobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why is that? Doesn't trust him? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Into. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. Seriously, he's my target? Yorinobu Arasaka? So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yuri's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Even so, it's still Yorinobu fucking Arasaka. Let's see what's up your sleeve. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Uh, Netwatch, something doesn't add up. Nope, don't buy it. Netwatch's integrity rests on their neutrality. Why would they tarnish their rep by procuring stolen goods? Netwatch provides net security for all corporations, and collects eddies in the millions for it. But, in this day and age, everyone's in the game. And no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. So what's Yorinobu slated to get in return? So what's Yorinobu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens, and I get the chip. Where's Yorinobu keep the relic? Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. What's on this relic? One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant. Entirely. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V. The relic. 
That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. Corporal, heard a few things about Yorinobu. Heard a bit about Yorinobu. Study finance and biotech in Tokyo. Probably to please his father. Mm-hmm. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu cut himself off from the corp. Joined the Steel Dragons, nomads from Tokyo. Heard they were planning an Arasaka coup, or its downfall. Hmm. That flash of youthful rebellion ended like it usually does. Yorinobu returned to the fold, but the bitter taste remained. You know your stuff. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has his own designs on the corp. A risky move with a biochip. Seems to be risking everything with this relic scam. Yes, because he's fallen for the biggest lie this town puts forward. That he can gain and retain control of anything. Alright, I'll stand. Okay, what's next? Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits? Jacking off to in those boxes? No. They can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted, doesn't grasp. Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. So she snuck in. Pick sockets how to protect your data. I'll take that. Anything else? No. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? So you know Yorinobu personally. Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. I'm waiting for you. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So, you'll be a good boy, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Hey! Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. Yoink. Is there anything else? No. <clears throat> Hey, there you are. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. Got quite the setup here, man. Impressive looking setup. Need all this to process brain dances. Mm-hmm. Analyzers, sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors, facial expression translators. <clears throat> Judy. All right, all right. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. I sit in that so chair. We drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? What's so raw about it? What do you mean by raw? How's this differ from the ready mates? Huh. 
ready-mades, provided they're well-made, should feed you feelings and impressions you'd never have the chance to experience yourself in real space. But it's mass-market shit, so it's pre-crafted, hard-coded, fenced-in, and manageable. A raw one? Well, it's more like a virtue in Viro. Get to move around, look at things in detail. Editors use those layers to fish for juicier emotes and impulses, then use them to pad the BDs that go to market. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. Sounds fun. I dig your tattoos. Pretty sick. Spider web on your shoulder. Gotta create your sensory profile first. A what profile? A what profile now? A model of your perceptions and emotional responses. Need to adjust that so the raw BD won't overwhelm you. If I don't, best case scenario, you'll get nauseous as soon as you're in. Probably barf like you would in a shoddy virtue enviro. Mm-hmm. And worst case? Your synapses sizzle like locusts in a deep fryer. But we're not about to let that happen. Nah. -uh. Profile away. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. No can do. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Am I gonna have to calibrate each time? Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. You need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Uh. Now let me see. <laughs> okay. We... Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. We got something here. Should be perfect. What'd you choose? What'd you choose? Corner store hold up in Haywood. Real amateurs. Don't even know where I got it. Suits our needs perfectly though. You ready? Yeah, I'll start the BD. Tutorial. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Everybody on the ground. I want to see you kissing the flooring. Money now, or I will fucking drop you. I swear to God. Whoa, yeah, uh, hey, uh, now before I blow your fucking head off. Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. Uh, that was a lot. <laughs> Could have warned me. That flash of intense shock. I can still feel it, I remember. Fuck, that last second. Could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. So now I can actually walk through it. I'll sever the link to the BD roller's sensory array 
you'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Camera movement. Full cam control in analysis mode. So move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Okay, so I can move about. Uh, play pause. Playback mode. Play. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell them. BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Yeah, Roll it. it back to the top. Okay. Hold me snap. Editing mode. All good. Neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. All right. Press and hold RT. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. You can only scan a clue during moments when it's perceivable by the person recording a brain dance. Okay. So, playback mode. Let's play. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't be creative. You go in. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Okay, right here. Okay, bold sections of the track indicate a scannable clue. The clue will be highlighted for the duration of the sequence if the editor is set in the correct layer. Clues may overlap each other. The spot where they overlap on the recording track will be especially bright. After being successfully scanned, clues disappear from the track. Indicate currently selected layer, visual layer, thermal layer, and sound layer. So this is a visual layer. Okay. So editing mode, scan the clue. Excellent. M10 AF, Lexington. Now heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Switch between layers, press RB. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. So we got those, but I have to... Pack of cigs, case of brosif, and a couple of zappers. Okay, we have with you today are two flavors. Cuddy and yeah. Serpent. Everybody! Oh. So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously. Like what's happening right next to me. There's another one in the back one. BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Get over here! Alright, here. Okay, fuck! On you go! Ah, little shitheads! Go restock, I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? Hmm. Okay. Switch between layers. Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. So, back this like way. What? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared. Meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures mm -hmm. from the recording. Huh. <laughs> Hello, nice. Now, let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. Okay. But you today are two flavors. Scanning works on peeps too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. There. Okay. Store customer. All right. Next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now, or I will fucking drop you. I swear to God. Now. See that? They shot him, and he never saw it coming. 
Yeah, she was right there. Will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. Thermals. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Oh, Must have what? Must shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision. Then scan it. No way. His own chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. I do want to see... So his friend came in this way? That's like the limits of the reality recorded by the BD roller. The editor won't let you outside it. Makes sense? That's fair. So, let's keep going. He got that, and then he gets shot right there. So, when does he come in? Okay. Uh, switch layer. So he slinks in through there. Okay. I guess there's a side door or he went to the back. Hmm. Wait. Alright, anyway, that's pretty sick. I'm done for now. Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? No way. Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when. Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T Bug to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Running for my crew, security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Uh, you can trust her. Judy, T-Bug's a professional, discreet to a fault. You can trust her. Why? Because you say so? Please, Judy. I'd never expose you to any danger. You know that. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. All right, and that is where I'll end off this episode. Thank you folks so much for watching. Hope you all have enjoyed, and I'll catch you folks in the next one. Peace.